Okay, here we are back in Pokemon Shield. So, last time we walked away from here. Let's see if we can actually get through this time. I'm gonna ignore the water stuff. Ignore that dude. We'll pick a fight with this guy, though. My Pokemon's bursting with energy. What I mean to say is, please battle me. Worker Francis. And he has a Carcol. So, that's a Fire Rock, I believe. Which means there's nothing I have here that can hurt that thing. I'm gonna send in Rog and Roll and see if I can bulldoze it. It'll be either that or Diglett. But otherwise, off camera, I was doing raids with Blue. So you'll probably see some notices on the side. Sadly, I didn't really get anything I want to use. <laughs> we picked up a Mime Jr., Unpheasant, and a couple others. Like, Unpheasant's stronger than any of the guys I have. So that was a pretty weak attack. It's gonna boost his speed, but it's gonna boost mine more. Here's if I can get Rog and Roll up to 25 before I get to the Fire Gym. Loss is a loss. My Pokemon lost its energy, too. If I can, I actually will go in there with Gigalith. Three Dusk Balls. Okay, so it's trying to bait you in. It's good to know. Ah, Spinner. Grip Claw. Eh, I don't really use those. When I'm tired of work, it's time for a battle. I'll show you all the muscles I built up. Worker Yvonne. I did get a Litwick, which I'm kind of interested in, but... It has a bad ability. I am going to try to catch a Litwick in the Fire Gem, though. Smackdown. I should resist that, and it's going to activate my ability. Now, unfortunately, all my stuff are physical moves, so I can't take advantage of the really, really weak special defense that Rog and Rolla has. Keep in mind, I got Bulldoze from a TM, so it's not going to have that itself. And it's only going to go up one speed phase because Bulldoze lowers it. That hurts. But yeah, that on Fight was so awkward and Rock Blast missed. That was the final hit that we needed. And it chokes of all times. Oh man. Timber. So yeah, we'll go to Heckle. That's a fighting type. If I remember correctly, this is supposed to be like a glass cannon fighting type or something like that. So Heckle is severe overkill. The muscles I use for working for battle are different. Try using your head. Oh wait, that's one you don't use in either one. Who is that? Oh, it's Gastrodon. Four times weakness to grass. That doesn't really interest me, I'm afraid. Anyway, with these guys here, I'm cool with Vespa Queen being the front. 
Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? Craggy, but there's really something I'd love a battle against a great trainer like you. Look at you, hero. Surrounded by adoring fans, eh? You'll be showing up Lee pretty soon. Jog on, mate. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? Can't you see I'm Hop, the trainer who'll be your next champion? Oh, so we got a joker here, eh? You're so funny I forgot to laugh. Think I'm joking? I'll prove it then. Hey, Mal, you'll be definitely... Uh, we'll definitely end with some laughs. Let's take him on together, hero. You ready? No, I don't want you in this fight, huh? Two of us were endorsed by the champion himself. We'll show you just what that means. If you insist, Team Yellow's gonna teach kids that the gym challenge is no joke. You better not yell. Be yellow. What this other kid have to come waltzing up for? Just want to knock off challenges one at a time. Leon. And Thievel. Like, I'm contemplating, is there a way for me to kill his guy so I can get all the EXP here? <laughs> anyway, pressure's on. Night Slash, I should resist this. No, I don't. That's a nasty move. Unfortunately, I don't use special stats on this guy. Awkward. Send out Lipard. I think this is another dark type, so we'll go for it. Baby doll eyes, please not me, please not me, please not me. I guess Wulu's like a tanky Pokemon based on how little that does. Yeah, it was super effective. So will the other guy send out the remaining one, or how does this work? doesn't matter now, does it? <laughs> Rock and roll is up to 24. Diglett wants Slash. What can we fit in? Goodbye, Mud Slap. As much as I love messing with the opponent's accuracy, sadly it's a special attack, so it doesn't do much for Diglett. Rock and roll wants to learn Headbutt. Sweet! Aw, oh, man, I have to go up something cool. Um... It's 70 power. That's not something to shrug at. I'm gonna get rid of iron defense here, I think. I can relearn it later on in case I want a steel move for... Anything involving fairies. I think it's the fifth gym or the sixth gym. Send out Panchum. I think that's a grass type, so. Why would that be very effective? Must be poison or something, maybe? Low sweep. I know that's not coming for me. <laughs> I fly. Okay, it must be a fighting type. That might be faster than me. Yeah. Are you going to yell at us because we all... When I didn't miss that. If I used a horn, would I have a better chance of winning? Maybe if you had a mega horn. Eh? Eh? Little Mug's the champion's little brother. Guess as we get when the older brother's not useless. 
guess I know we're teaming up, but we'll, we'll leave quietly once we're beaten. Nice one, Hero. That's my rival for you. Now then, where could Kabu have gone off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's farther in. Star piece. Trying to figure out if those may actually be worthwhile. I don't know what those little things are. Bag of soft sand, so this is good for Diglett. We're starting to get to the point where everyone's going to have a held item. Um, over here. Soft sand. Just looking at that thing in the background, I don't know what that is up there. Steam power can send any opponent flying. Rail Staff Vincent. Send out Drillbur. I wonder if it even has anything that can hit me up here. Rapid spin. About to send an onyx. We're gonna send in Diglett and bulldoze it. Keep in mind I could swap in McGill and just hit him for a four times weakness for a chance to kill, but where's the fun in that, right? That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> He's barely hanging on, and the trainer could end up using an item here. Nope. Just goes down. What incredible power, because I was the one sent flying. Sand Tomb. What does this do? <laughs> Sandstorm for four or five turns, that's not something I'm interested in. So what the heck are you? I don't know. I want to fight it just so I know what it is. Binnacle. Looks like a rock. Maybe a rock bug? That was rude. Did not expect that to be so potent. So that explains why the fly didn't do too well, but I'm surprised the bug move did.
Thank you for helping out with my training team, Yellow, but I must say, it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of a car called Hard at Work. We weren't getting in its way, we were trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yellow to scarp and give a morale boost somewhere else. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. That's Kabu, man, he's wicked. No wonder he's the fire type gym leader. Ah, you are the trainers endorsed by Leon, Hop and Hero, am I right? I'm just trying right up until the last moment so I can guarantee the perfect match when I face your gym challenge you gym challengers. I specialize in fire type Pokemon, and the water type Pokemon Galarmine number two are the perfect opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight once you get out of this mine, you'll reach Motostoke. Get a good rest of the hotel and make sure you're both in top condition. Come on, Karkle, time for you to head on home. I'll make sure you get there safely. We'll be going on we're going to be on fire tomorrow. I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said that a lot of gym lead challengers give up because they can't beat Kabu. I'm getting all fired up now, too. That Karkle from before. I guess he must have been here on a job. You do know about poke jobs by now, right? Poke what now? Looks like there's no helping in that case. Settle down and let Professor Hop teach you a thing or two. Let's see if I can remember what Lee had written down in his old notebooks. Basically, you have your Pokemon go around and help companies or other folks who are in need of something. You can take Poke Jobs from Rotimi at any Poco Center. Give it a look sometime. Now I'm cream crackered. Ready for the Badoo drop in and some sleep. Come tomorrow, that fire gym leader Kabu better be ready because I'll be coming for him. Noctowls? Who are you? Ah, oh, it's a fairy. Patena. Oh, it's psychic. Never mind. So the pressure is on. It's anticipating. I'm getting ready to look up what that does. It's starting to annoy me. Oh, crap. So, yeah, I didn't actually uh, think it would do that. Patena in the overworld is a 10% encounter. Is Hatena any good? I accidentally ran into one. So what does Anticipation even do? Warns when the opponent has KO moves. The hidden ability on this thing is not too bad. Amulet coin, so this is my luck incense. What's Blue talking about? Something about his. Aracuda, it looks like. Um, I can see his local stuff. You won't see anything of Crimson's pop up because I don't have the Nintendo Online stuff. By the way, I'm gonna flip over to Hatterene while we do this. Hatterene is a special attacker that is abysmally slow. Air Slash. And it's a special move, worst of all. Need three rocks here, come on. One more. Okay, I'm gonna message Blue real quick. I don't think you guys want to hear me yell across the place. Can you trade? I really don't care about the moonlight thing. But 
But this is who I want to use for the fire gym. So now we have Bulldore. He wants to learn Power Gem. I don't know what that does. Uh, his special attack is so bad. Pokemon Charm, what you want to do with the battle? Like, if he doesn't respond to the Discord thing, I'm gonna text him. I'm going to lose out on the double money, maybe not. Heckle wants scary face, I'll pass, that's just a speed drop. Diggle is now 25. Seems really quite used to Pokemon battles, so I would have gotten an extra 4,000 from that. Three Great Balls. Anyway, while I wait for a response, I will, uh, look for feathers on the bridge. Now I know Coughing has an ability to neutralize abilities, which can be pretty nasty at times. I don't know if it's enough for me to actually want one, though. All this then? Fancy a scrap of the copper? Officer Raymond and his Growlithe.
fishing for a crit here. Use Leer. Pokemon with you there. Your battle technique is bang on too. And he paid us chump change, especially compared to the old bat back there. Okay. No. How do I... Okay, so now that we're fully healed, we can now head out to the station. Or, not the station, I was reading what she said. We're going to the Badoo Drop Inn and getting ready for the fire gym. I had to pull up guides and figure out how this thing works because, it, you know, well, you saw a part of it. I probably will. Well, I might edit that out. So, where's the inn at? I think we just went into the wild area. Okay, there is a rare there. 
So I'll fly back if need be. 300 watts. That's like a a palm. That's the Timple. I already have one of those. I don't really want to go over there. I also don't want to waste people's time more than I have to. So unfortunately with how many rabbits are right here, we're probably going to be in like three fights. Right on the sand. So we made her get away in the sandstorm. Right there you can see what I mean. So right now I'm just trying to mash on the buttons as much as possible to try to uh, get through this crap. I don't recognize this one. We'll do a raid real quick. We'll take the AI bots. Blue's probably busy. Oh, it's Shelter. Dynamax now, we have to wait a few turns. Overall, I don't really know if there's any good water TRs you can get off this. I have a few waterfalls already. You also do not get any EXP for doing this You can get real candy, potentially, though. wondering the grass is healing him. That's all, folks. So I did buy some Pokeballs so I can afford to do this. Sadly, I don't think, like, capturing them actually fills in their silhouette when you have to deal with them in the future. It's just for your own satisfaction, maybe. Actually, yeah, because the Timple was still a silhouette when we just saw it a moment ago. So yeah, you can see we got Dynamax, Rare Candy, we actually got Scald, so that alone makes it worthwhile in my book. and are they worth a hassle? Uh, Vibop... Vib... Uh, vib... 
Brava or something like that? I think it's just a ground type, but it eventually becomes a dragon. Or no, it might be Trap Inch, because that becomes Vibra. For a second there, I thought that was blue to my left. Trap Inch. Hyper Cutter, so he doesn't lower. Sheer Force, but we already know that it does not. That would have been a monster class move. Okay, it doesn't really matter because Flygon was what it evolves into at the end. Vibabra is the middle stage and it has Levitate, no matter what it looks like. It's a ground dragon. I don't know, man. So yeah, it doesn't matter. I wasn't even looking to see if I one-shot it or what happened. See that there. Tail slap. That's a dragon move, I believe. Nope. Attacks by striking the target with its hard tail two to five times in a row. So he may see my marker there, and we'll see if he says anything. The sticker right there. and roll in front of me real quick. Yeah, you can actually get them all the way out here. Huh. So, kind of defeats the point of me, uh... spending all the time in that stupid mine. I'll give it your all, even this late, huh? Help oh, with something for a sec. Yeah, I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. Alright, so she wants to battle me. Got some fighting you, huh? So she used dark types like Team Yell. She kind of looks like a punk rocker of sorts, so... That's a dark fighting. I feel awful if I lose, but there's no way I'm gonna... Or not. Nah. It's a fighting poison, I believe. This is a fighting dark. I 
I don't know if that move has priority or not, but we're at least going to slow him down for our follow-up bit. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> I think I need all five. No, four did it. Not very effective because of its fighting type. About to send out more Peko. I do not know that one. So instead of taking half her money, now we're taking all of it. We know fun things in it just yet, that's why we aren't giving up. Thundershock. That's kind of annoying. It's probably like an electric dark or something. Unfortunately, I'm gonna get hit by the sandstorm too. Don't know what that was. Use the super potion. So it's a full heal. There's also no berry for us to punch. Changes every other turn, I guess. In case you're wondering, the sandstorm lasts five turns. I don't have the smooth stone overs that boost it to eight, I think. We have to kind of find that as we go. You beat me. You guys must not be too bad after all, huh? Yeah, I certainly seem to have a collection of ground Pokemon right now. I guess I better get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You better get some sleep too. The next morning? Okay, she's starting to stalk us. Morning, hero. That friend of yours already went off to challenge the next gym. Kabu's lead card is supposed to help against him, but I end up with a few copies. So I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed. It's no big deal. Take this, too. A little something for our battle yesterday. Two burn heals. But you'll have no trouble beating that man of fire Kabu chap, right? Why don't you get over to Motostoke Stadium and get that gym badge already? And she just repeats that. Like, I don't know if any of their stuff really changed. I quit my job just so I can watch the gym challenge. And now you live in a hotel. Just saying. Probably in the utility closet at that. Why are they all looking at me? Don't tell me you want a piece of me. Slow moving, aren't you, hero? Where are you going to earn my fire badge? The man of fire cub is just what you'd expect. Nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. Get a shift on, hero. I bet you could beat the Man of Fire, too. Are you a Volt Trader? Or Watch Trader, I mean? No. To be honest, I don't know what I'm going to do for the Ice Gym just yet. Actually, we can get Litwick here, can't we? One of those uh, gym challenges that were endorsed by Leon, right? No wonder you're taking on Kabuto. I made this far at least, but I'm not sure if I can make it any further. Can I really beat the fire gem? I don't know. Gym challenger, welcome sight. When I made a challenger since our gym le since our leader Kabu has made his mission so hard, I'll be happy to get you registered at once. Sure. So hit the uniform. This is so stupid, man. You may find the fire missions a bit different from the others you faced. In you go. Like, his symbol even is a Kabuto. So that's one of the reasons why I keep calling him Kabuto. Even though they probably didn't call him that because of the Pokemon named Kabuto. 
So I see a Vulpix there. The gym mission for the Fire Gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. The first... Earn 5 points to clear the gym mission. In case you're wondering, you'll earn 1 point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass, or 2 points for catching a Pokemon, but you won't be alone in this competition, other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to make, take the best action to rack up points. Mission start. So can I rough you up? Sizzlipede. So she has one of those little salamander suckers. I thought we'd sell one of those on our way here. <laughs> we'll go with that. Um, in case you're wondering, rock bug, so we're four times effective against it. You suck! Jerk's trying to sabotage me. So yeah, no more Mr. Nice Hero. I may have lost too much accuracy to be effective here. It also sucks that they're only focusing me. Yeah, one hit should be more than enough. <laughs> so that's one point. So what we're going to do real quick is we will swap you in place of you, since I think the Diglett's going to be better for just tearing through stuff. Huh, Litwick. I don't know if I'm going to one-shot it here, so I'm a little worried about it. I want to say we're equal level, so it shouldn't. Oh my god, you jerk. So I thought that one was going to continue trying to sabotage me, but... So yeah, we can replace Gust with that. Sadly, it's a special though. That sucks. Oh well. I'm just going to throw a Pokeball here. Sizzlepede, you smokescreen on me. Jerk. So now they're actually double-teaming me. So I could die right here just with the fire.
Okay, that's not a Ludwig I want. So I wonder if I can actually leave and just reset this. Or do I have to go all the way through? Oh, now use a smoke screen on it. So yeah, I'm cool with this. So I'm going to do quite a bit off camera trying to uh, get a good Litwick. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, I stepped away, but congrats on mission cleared. I just came back, did one thing, and got it. This looks like your points do carry over. You can't reset back to zero, despite what they say. Clearing leader Kabu's gym mission like that, you're positively on fire. Next, we'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, challenger. So, can I access my box real quick? No. So, Diglett's knocked out. Um... Can I go back? We'll do Kabu and then I'll make the adjustment. So I did capture a Litwick I wanted to put in the team in place of the Clefairy, but we'll do this real quick. Even without the Diglett, it's going to lose on a lot of EXP, sadly, but we'll be fine, I think. So let me see, do I still have what the abilities could be for him? So yeah, it's possible to get uh, Infiltrator to... Yeah, that bypasses like all the defense moves except Protect. Would be kind of cool if it bypassed that one too, but it'd probably be overpowered then. Welcome, I'm Kabu, the Fire-type Gym Leader. The fact that you were here means you've busted both Milo's Grass-type Pokémon and Ness's Water-types too. It's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory. That means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is unable to unleash their true potential. You are challenged by Gym Leader Kamu. He sent out Ninetales. Ooh. So it starts with a drought, I guess. Who wins? Can Ninetales have something other than that, I wonder? That's what I'm searching for right now, in case you're wondering what the pause is. So Ninetales could have Flash Fire. It only has Drought as a hidden ability. That's interesting. Oh wait. So yeah, flash fire or drought. I'm trying to think what my best course of action is here. I get the stab and the boost. The 
That's what I was afraid of. So this lowers my attack power. And that's like worst case scenario for me. I want to say I lost half my attack power due to the burn. <laughs> that sucked. I don't know if he has a Sizzlipede or what for his final. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna finish with the bulldoze. But otherwise, I should mention that the uh, storm is boosting my special defense, so I have that going for me. That's why he's only hitting me for like four or so, other than the whole not very effective thing. So we're up to 86 power. Sends out Arcanine. Thing is, I don't know if they all have Will of so that's my main concern. Well, there goes more of my attack power. So I'm most likely going to pull him out here after we do the. Is that going to flinch me? No. So my goal here is just to weaken his attack power enough so someone else can pick it off. I also lost the protection of the storm. Saying her in here, even though she may just get blown up immediately so that I can get the amulet point effect. I want to say his main is Sizzlipede, though, because if you look at the posters in the background, as a bug, I should resist this. I'm also a little disappointed that that thing is still faster than me. Okay, we're looking for the burn heal. So here comes the fire move. Flame heal. That's supposed to be Typhlosion signature. faster than Holy crap! I have to check, is Gigalith slower than Vespa Queen? Oh my god. Like, the game is just trolling me here, man. So, I should have a berry that's gonna heal See. Sandstorm should finish it off and then we'll get into a gear for the final part. that fire and get your mind moving, Cobb, but there still must be a path to victory.
Burn bright side of sword. Let Gigantamax change your size and your form. So the difference between Dynamax and Gigantamax is the Gigantamaxes all have a unique move to themselves. Like it's not necessarily better than the Dynamax, but it's up to you if that move is really that valuable. Just Dynamaxing at the start and just throwing rocks. Great Pokemon and great trainers. No surprise that you won. So yeah, we definitely need that 8,000. Muffergar is the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly your talent surpassed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you defeated me. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 35. la -dee da dude. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Galar region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope you, that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help it become something better. We adults will be the pillars for you to build on. Hmm. So I was looking up where to find Heracross, and he's in the DLC area. Hero. I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Diglett would be the ones, but still. That match hit me right at the edge of my seat. Challenger Hero, I see you've done a fine job collecting gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gems. Please take this team to commemorate what you have accomplished here today. will wisp So that's good if you're going up against a lot of physical attackers. Like, if you were in Sword, you could probably use this to great effect against B, I think that's her name, the fighting gym. I'm going up against a ghost dude, so it's not going to help me. So you inflict a burn. Take one of our uniforms, same design as Kabu himself wears. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gyms that await you, starting in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down to the wild area of the city, starting the city, make your way to Hammerlock. With all the badges we earned ourselves, I reckon we ought to be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find in the deep wild area. Let's go find it for ourselves. Yeah, there's nothing we need here. So, let's go ahead and bench Clefairy. Well, first this. Hurry it up, Hero. Huh? You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off? I bet you already... T you can already tell I'm the one who will become the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. We made it! Thank goodness for flying taxis! Hero, hop, congratulations! It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to work get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. So allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, 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 hop. You can do it, you can do it, hero. The gym leaders will, you'll face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe you'll prevail. Believe in your Pokémon and keep pushing on. 
Thanks, y'all. We're gonna keep winning. We've got to if we want to face off in the Champion Cup, after all. Come on, here. Let's head for Hammerlock. So there are a couple things I want to do in the city here. Starting with benching Clefairy. Scenes, I tell ya. Hello again, Wild Area, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. Hero, Hammerlock is up that way. Got it? I wonder if I should try to go in the snow area and see if I can melt anything with him. Yeah, you could certainly rush straight there without a single detour. But now that you and I have a few gym badges, we should really catch stronger Pokemon. Not really. 35? Pfft. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page in the Tale of My Legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. The champion must have really been off his rocker to endure the likes of you. I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish. More like you don't know you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion the world's ever seen. I'm not gonna listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Maybe that'll help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on, then. I know you challenged Hero to battle in Galar Mine Number 2 and lost to him there, and I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. Well, let's prattle about Hero and the Champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? I'll show this Wally my real skills in battle. See you later, Hero. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. So yes, once the Litwick hits my team, we will call it a video. So, I'm going to do a few things off camera like usual, and then uh, when we pick up next time, we will be heading towards wherever it is we kind of need to go. So, anything else, I am the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.